Hello everybody, we are back with part four of this um, 111 item box. All right, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a closet on Poshmark along with my wife Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deegans, and it's linked below. Now, this is part four, I believe, of a 111 item box that we got from Fashion Vault Trash In. Um, obviously, we didn't get it off Poshmark, being that there's um, limits on weight and everything. Um, but, you know, from time to time, she does offer these. Um, bundles and I forgot the word bundle <laughs> uh anyway i don't think she has any currently available and you know she just does it from time to time so that's where we are all right now so far we've been pretty happy with this box um a lot of good a lot of good items a lot of new of tags uh, particularly a lot of a brand called fashion active labs uh, and the active which is activewear which has been doing very well for us recently. So um, this next part of the box doesn't have um, as much of that in it. Uh, we're kind of getting to like some of the odds and ends that are just in there. All right, so up first we have a hat. This is an Aldo. Um, it looks like it's uh, all leather uh, or some kind of faux leather. leather. Uh, let's see if I can find the um, fabrics on here uh, so let's see uh, it's one size fits all uh, it is it's, yeah, it's some kind of just polyester so a fake leather but say hat now we have not sold any hats in our closet um, so I don't know what we're gonna do with this um, you know, maybe we'll list it. Um, I, I did shoot it. I shot it a couple different ways because I'm really not sure how to shoot a... I really don't know how to shoot a hat to sell it on Poshmark. Oh, we don't have a mannequin head, so I'm going to put it on there. Um, so I just put it on the floor, shot it, put it on top of the mannequin and shot it. Um, maybe I'll try... I could try... Um, if we don't sell it, I could start wearing it in my videos. Um, I do always wear a hat, which I will be doing a underneath the hat reveal at 100 um, subscribers. So that's probably a ways off. Hopefully I'll still have hair by then. Uh, but um, yeah, so I'm really not sure what we'll do with this. Uh, but yeah, I guess I can maybe I can wear it in the videos. All right. Now getting into the regular clothes. <laughs> All that rambling's done about hats. Uh, first up, we have a pair of Levi's um, 511 slims uh, these are performance fits now these do have some um, stretch to them I believe they're a I believe they're elastic yeah they're two percent elastic um, only 75 percent cotton 23 percent polyester and two percent elastic which gives out that little bit of stretch now these are um, regular 12 uh, 26 by 26 um, so these are definitely a um, I think, I believe these are women's jeans. Um, I don't know how to tell the difference. I, normally it's, normally it's um, the size, but this has the width and the leg and the size, so I don't know. Um, anyway, I believe they're women. Um, they did fit on our mannequin, uh, which was really surprising, but again, it's because they have that little bit of elastic, so they're able to stretch. Um, yeah, so these are our first item. Now, our next item is another pair of the same jeans, uh, same style. Um, see the 501 Performance Slim. Same materials, uh, just a slightly different color. So these are a little bit darker, and they have the um, yellow, yellow brownish uh, stitching. So jeans have not done well for us lately, uh, but they're both um, they're both in really good condition. Uh, they both. Shot really well on the mannequin, so we will see how those do. Um, they are a bit smaller size, so maybe that'll help out, because uh, the unusual sizes do tend to sell just a little bit better. 
than uh, regular sizes. All right, up next we have a size 10 St. John's. Now we did just sell a pair of St. John's um, sports uh, pants that were white. Um, these are obviously not white, uh, they're blue. Um, uh, really dark blue, I don't know how, kind of looks like it's a little bit, uh, I don't know. Uh, it seems like they're showing up a little bit lighter on the camera than they appear um, to me. Anyway, um, St. John is a really good brand. Um, I don't think we'll have any trouble at all selling these. Uh, so they did not shoot very well because they were just a little bit too big for the mannequin. Uh, but um, our last pair of St. John's pants just sold from a hanging up shot. So really not too concerned about that. Okay, up next we have a Zara, another pair of pants. These are a pair of yellow and they're almost um, a parachute pants, um, like the old MC Hammer style, um, which is just a little teeny tiny bit, um, well, ravenous. really, I was really little, uh, but yeah, they're just a pair of um, yellow pants. I'm going to fix my second hat. Um, and they are Zara, which is a brand that has done fairly well for us. Um, you know, it's not our best brand, but it is something that we definitely can sell. So I think those will do just fine. And I believe, we, I believe this is the last pair of pants we'll come to. Oh, nope, this is not. I believe that was the last pair of pants we'll come to. Because up next, we have this Victoria's Secret pink um, black uh sweatshirt now the victoria's secret pink is typically active um sleepwear type stuff active wear um so this it's pretty pretty standard um pretty standard uh it's kind of a runner jacket um it does say pink right there on the back <laughs> although it is not pink at all uh, so the Victoria's Secret stuff has done pretty well, uh, specifically the pink stuff and the active wear. So this, again, is definitely a good, good item from this box. All right. Up next, we have a, what is this? Um, oh, this is a, one of those black dresses that my wife says are essential. This is a naked wardrobe. Very oxymoronic name, size small. Um, new with tag um, and this is a very tiny dress now this um, did just barely fit on the mannequin um, and actually go in from the bottom uh, to get it to go on uh, so it uh, did just barely fit on it is uh, strapless um, so it really didn't um, it really couldn't get above the shoulders that's kind of the issue but anyway, uh, it's a nice strapless dress, a um, little black dress, which is essential. I don't know if the strapless part makes it non-essential or not. I'm not um, really up to date on the essential wardrobes. Okay, up next we have a DKYN um, Donna Karen New York. Uh, this is a size 4. There we go. Size 4. Um mini dress um hi now one unique thing about this is it does have this um tie right there in the back the zipper does go um right down through that tie uh anyway this could be tied this could be tied in the back or tied around the front as a belt um either way uh just provides that little bit of a break point in the middle of the dress other than that it's a really shiny uh, golden dress um so given that it is given that it is unique in that regard, I think it'll do very well. Um, I know we have had some of that DKNY, um, which uh, I always feel like is Donkey Kong something. Um, that's my obligatory video game reference for the video. Uh, anyway, I, I don't. That brand has done. We've sold some of it. Um, it's not. Again, it's not really the best brand for us, so I don't know how um, I don't know how well that will do. Up next is a wool rich. Uh, this is an extra large, and you'll see this is uh, not a um, 
pull over, I guess would be the term. Um, it is extra large, so maybe not pull over, maybe pull over another wrong term. I don't know. Um, anyway, you can see it has the plaid along the shoulders and the um, gray everywhere else. It does have this um, patch with a, uh, let's see if I can, there we go. It does have this patch with a uh, deer on the um, shoulder uh, or on the arm. Uh, you know, and it says it's a women's XL. Now, it, this does not really look a whole lot like a women's piece. Um, so maybe it's more unisex, uh, but it says women's on the label, so we'll go with women's. Um, yeah, just the, just the coloring and the style, like the cut and everything. It looks like it might be a men's piece, so maybe, maybe it's a unisex, but they just, uh, women's just the brand. Who knows? All right, let's see. Ah, we are, we have a MNG. Now this is um, MNG, I believe that is short for Mango. Um, uh, Cause there was another piece that uh, we have that I could not find. Um, we're looking for it to do a reshoot on it. Um, that is mango, but I couldn't find it. So maybe it was, uh, maybe it was redonated. Maybe, maybe we got rid of it some other way. Um, anyway, uh, this is a blazer. Um, it's a pretty nice blazer. Although I believe if I remember correctly, one of these white stripes has a little bit of discoloring on it. Though I might be thinking of another piece. Um, yeah, I guess I'm thinking of a different piece. Um, anyway, uh, so if it doesn't have that, it's in pretty good condition. Now it does have the, um, it does have pockets, but they're sewn shut. So you'd have to open those up with a, uh, a little seam cutter, or if you want the pockets, or if you want the pockets to just be for show, you leave them sealed up. Um, either way, um, no visible flaws. So really happy about that. Um, blazers don't do particularly well for us, but um, this is in good condition. So should be able to, should be able to sell it for something. All right next up next we have uh more of our little people clothes um now this is a pair of uh nicole miller um it's part of a two-piece set it says on the tag uh, i don't know if um one of the other i don't think i shot any other nicole miller pieces so it might just be the pants here uh, but these are a pair of 24 month pants so I've, I've said in the last couple of videos, um, when we haven't really done a whole lot of, uh, baby clothes, but the baby clothes that we have listed have gone pretty fast. Um, so I don't know what we'll do with that. Um, it's, my daughter is two, she's three. Um, she's outgrown her, most of her 24 month stuff. Um, she's, she's little, son's big. They're almost the same size despite being, despite being two years apart. Uh, okay. Up next, we have this Adidas hoodie. Um, this is a US 4? Does that say 4 on there? US small. And it's a small US Adidas hoodie. Um, it just says Adidas on the front. It's black, so it's pretty pretty standard um, hoodie. Nothing really unique about it, but um, I guess it is active wear, so definitely... Um, definitely something that should do just fine for us we've sold adidas we've sold activewear so that should be that should be a good piece all right up next we have a piece of banana republic that like all the men's clothing in here is my size so if it doesn't sell look for me wearing this in a future video um and this is a banana republic it has these uh flower patterns on it um hmm it no no visible flaws um it is a cad cam camden fit um i'm not sure what that means i don't know if that's slim or yeah i don't i don't know what camden fit um is um but yeah, let's see if we can figure this out uh looks like it's kind of a box so, 
maybe it's like a maybe it's like a boxy fit where the slim fit has a, comes in a little bit more at the waist. Um, I don't know. Don't know. Well, that should fit me. Um, I don't know if I'm a cannonman. I'm, normally, the slim stuff fits me pretty well, though. It's, though it is getting a little bit tight as I um, as I transition from regular man to dad and get that dad bod. Uh, kids, they really do a number on your body. All right, up next we have another Naked Wardrobe Small, and this is a black dress, another essential piece. Um, now this, now it is um, shiny. Now I don't think this actually fit on the mannequin, and I ended up having to hang it up to shoot it. Uh, so, you know, didn't get a lot really good shot, but um, that hasn't stopped a lot of things from selling. So we'll see. Um, now. This is kind of, um, it's not really there, it kind of shows up. Um, this is a glittery dress, so I'm going to stop messing with it before I get glitter all over myself and have to explain that one to the wife. All right. Next, we have another, um, another little person um, item. This is a 7 for All Mankind. Very good brand. New with tags. Um little gray hoodie. Now, I believe this is, um, yeah, it says it's a boy's, uh, it says it's part of a two-piece set, so just like the other thing, I don't know that there was any other um, Seven for All Mankind children's um, clothing, so I don't know, I think that this is probably the only piece of that two-piece set we have, but it's very nice, um, it's very nice, uh, so if it doesn't sell, it'll probably end up going to my son in a few, well, probably in like a year. He's already starting to outgrow T2 stuff at one and a half. Big boy. <laughs> you know, he's growing up really like, he's growing to be really tall and slim. So, I don't know if that'll, that'll change. Um, I don't, I don't know how. I was, I was... Yeah, I guess I was, I was kind of lanky, and slim grown up. Um, okay, up next we have another uh, men's medium. Uh, this is a polo by Ralph Lauren, and this is a purple, um, it's purple knitted shirt. Uh, so I believe I have, I have a purple knitted shirt that's kind of similar to this one, so um, those buttons are really shiny. So it's definitely something that I would wear, um, but again, I don't know, men's clothing, we just haven't sold enough of it to really get any kind of a metric on how it does. So I don't know if this will end up selling for us. I mean, this box could turn into, um, I mean, it'll still turn into a lot of profit even if like all the men's clothes end up just being Charles clothes. All right. We have a lot more pieces in this box than I thought we did, so maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll cut it off and um, make this box a two-part. Well, you know, cut it off and just do the rest of it in another part of this video. Okay, up next we have an Elaine Fisher small. Um, this is a, I mean, it's a blue uh, button-up shirt. Um, Yeah, no, no flaws. Elaine Fisher is a brand. I think we've sold like maybe one or two items of it. I don't think it's, it doesn't do the best for us, but um, this, this piece, I think it's mostly because we got Elaine Fisher pants and pants really aren't always, aren't, um, they're not our best selling item. We mostly do tops um, and a lot of, and shoes. So we'll see how that does. Okay. Oh. And I spoke too soon because it looks like now we're getting into some... Oh, no. Okay. You know, I think we'll just power through this and make it a long video. Okay. Up next is a You Look Ugly Today sweater. Now, this is a ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> so, these ugly Christmas sweaters, um, always, you know, definitely something to get around the holidays. I know that my wife has bought an ugly ugly Christmas sweaters for me off of Poshmark. So once it gets to around the holidays, 
those things go really, really, those things sell really, really fast. Even though we haven't sold any of them, we've bought them. So I know from being on the other side of the coin that this is definitely something that can sell. You just got to wait till the right time of the year. So I don't know if we'll list that right away or if we'll, um, if we'll wait, but we will we'll see. Okay. Up next, we have this gap fit. Now you see the logo and this is one of those, um, kind of, it's a, it's an active wear, active wear tank top with the built in sports bra. Um, so it's not really just a shelf like I call the other um, sports bras. There we go. That's kind of how it's supposed to look. Um, it's not really a shelf because it is almost like a entirely separate piece, just held together. But this is a little spot right there. Um, so yeah, um, that is a it is a medium. Now this did fit on the mannequin, and it fit just about like the uh, Lululemon's fit. I think maybe even a little bit bigger than the Lululemon. So. Um, that's where gap sizing is. Okay, moving right along, we have another piece of activewear. This is a Lululemon black top. Now this um, this did fit on the mannequin. Um, it was a, it was about what a medium would be, um, so a little bit tight. Um, but that's kind of how the Lululemon. Um, mediums fit on our mannequin. Uh, this is just a plain black one. Now, I actually got confused when I shot this because there was another Lululemon um, black active top um, that was in this box. And I thought, was I, I thought, did I already shoot this? But no, it turns out it's just a different piece. So Lululemon brand that has done very good for us. Um, so I think this will do, this is gonna work out really nice. Okay. <laughs> up next we have another um j crew medium men's shirt uh now this i don't know if this is technically a aloha shirt it does have these little hula dancers and i believe um well i think that's just a guitar not a ukulele yeah it looks like a looks like the length of the um yeah, yeah, let's see if i can get that in there there we go. Yeah, if you look at the length of the neck to the body, um, that's a regular guitar. That's not a uh, not a ukulele. Um, but with the hula dancers, I don't know if this is considered a aloha shirt or if it's just um, a well boating, just a standard button button down. Uh, I just see the buttons. Just a button short sleeve button down shirt. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, with the guitars on it, it's probably celebrating when, probably a kind of a throwback to Elvis going to Hawaii. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, that was something that happened. I don't know. It would have been before I was born, so who cares about history, right? Okay, up next we have a Banana Republic Heritage Collection. This is a small uh, knitted... A tank top. Now it is see-through, um, somewhat see-through, uh, but more so in the back. Um, and it's actually pretty heavy, so probably something that would be more of a fall piece. Um, maybe something that you'd wear over something else. I don't know. Now it does have one minor flaw, and that's right here. There's this little, uh, there you can see it. There's this little thread that's coming a little bit loose there, but we'll probably just sweater shave that down. Um, so that's really not a big deal. Okay, and man, I really, really was able to cram stuff in here. There's a lot more items in this box than I thought there was. Um, okay, up next we have um, any X one teaspoon, uh, size 27 pair of pants. Uh, so this is, oh, it's one, not any, <laughs> one teaspoon. Okay. Um, so this is a standard pair of pants. Now, I do not know, I'm not familiar with this brand, so I don't know if it is, um, I don't know if it's a good brand, bad brand. Um, 
given the quality and the feel, it looks like it might be a better brand. And now one interesting, actually really useful thing about these jeans is that they have uh, zippers around the ankles, which makes it really easy to get on the mannequin because that's where the uh, pole that she actually like is held up by is, is right around the ankle. So with those zippers, I was able to just around there. Oh, that was nice. Um, didn't have to worry too much about getting around that. Um, anyway, they're a, seem like a nice pair of jeans, but like I said before, jeans, um, they don't, they're not our best selling item. I think it might just be an oversaturation right now. So we'll see how that brand does. Um, okay. Uh, we are, all right. We are almost, we're almost at the bottom. Um, so we'll, we'll just speed it up a little bit. Um, this will be just a long video. So I hope you buckled up. Um, up next is a pair of new of tags, Osh, Osh, Kosh, Bagosh, um, camo, camo pants. Uh, these are 3T, uh, but geez, that would be a really, that'd be a big 3T. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Come to think of it, CJ will probably, when he gets to be three, that'll probably be like short on him. Anyway, um, they're a pair of camo, um, windbreaker pants um so we'll see how those do i mean the great thing about the great thing about stuff that the kids will grow into is if we don't sell it we have a use for it all right up next we have a uniquil uniquil i don't know really how to pronounce this brand uh anyway this pair of pinstriped pants um so that brand, it's kind of a hit or miss brand with us. Um, sometimes it sells really quick. Sometimes it just kind of sits and doesn't get any likes or any interest really. So we'll see how these do. Um, I don't think we have a, oh, oh, there, okay, there we go. <laughs> that focus just went crazy. Probably by these, Did these break it? Uh, I don't know. Something I did there just broke the focus. <laughs> Probably should just turn off the autofocus. But then you want to see the labels. Eh, oh well. Okay. Up next, this is a Yumi small. And this is a another one of those mini dresses. Um, so it's kind of got the little horizontal ruffles going all the way up and down it. And it has this kind of multicolored speckle pattern on what is a mostly black dress. So kind of essential, kind of not. Um, we'll see how that goes. All right. Only one, two, three more items. Okay. Up next is this <coughs> Forever 21 pair of, we'll just call them yoga pants. Um, maybe running pants would be more appropriate uh, because they do have this kind of netting for breathing, uh, get some air circulating uh, while you're running so you don't have, so you don't sweat too bad. Um, anyway, active wear, always a good, active wear has been doing pretty good for us. So even though this is Forever 21, which isn't the best, um, I think that'll do really nice. Okay, and next we have another Nua Tags um, little guy shirt. Uh, this is a 2T, um, you can see the 2T right there. Um, this is from Carter's, uh, so I can say from personal experience that Carter's is actually is a really good brand for baby clothes. They hold up fairly well. Um, this was uh, part of a three-piece set, so did not see, uh, you know, we might have had a couple other Carter's maybe somewhere else in the box. Um, eh, anyway, that's a 2T, so it's probably, looks like it's a little bit larger 2T, so it's probably two small or going to be soon too small for my son. So we'll definitely try to sell that. Um, don't really know how that'll do. And last we have a pair of, oh, not a pair. We just have a skirt. Is this a skirt or is it shorts? It's a skirt. Uh, so this is a Ava Franco size two skirt. Um, kind of a, has a blue tie dye pattern. Um, and it has kind of this, it's kind of made to look like it just wraps around, but it's actually got zippers and 
hooks and all that other stuff that normal skirts have, but it does have this one piece of fabric in the front that kind of loops around twice to give it just that kind of look. Yeah. That's 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 what it's called. I don't I don't make I saw it on a I saw it on Project Runway or something. Anyway, um, skirts like this, uh, we have, you know, skirts, skirts do pretty good for us. Um, they definitely do better than pants and definitely, definitely do better than jeans. So that should do just fine for us. And that brings us to the end of this rather surprisingly large box. I really just, um, you know, when I shoot, I try to put them, I try to put them in a box so that I know, like I go, okay, this is how many items I want to do in a video. Just put this in a box, set it aside. But I just packed that one full of stuff. So that probably cuts down, that probably cuts it down to from a five-part series to a, or from a six-part series to a five-part series just by how much I did. Um, so what do I think? What do I think? Well, I definitely like the active wear in there. Um, active wear has been doing really good for us. So anytime I see some active wear, um, in one of these boxes, I'm really happy because it's something we can sell fast and it's something that, well, we can sell for whatever, for pretty much asking price. Um, other than that, there's some stuff that's really going to be great um, seasonally. Um, the ugly sweater comes to mind. Um, I know those, I think that will go really fast, but we're going to have to wait until Christmas to see. And other than that, um, the baby clothes. Now, the, you know, Every time we've listed something for some children's clothes, they tend to get bought up really quick, but it's been a while since we've listed anything, so I don't know if our, like, if the people who visit our closet have changed. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, being that now we're not really known for baby clothes. I mean, we sold them when we weren't really known for anything, so who knows? Um, and other than that, the, uh, the dresses, um, definitely like those essential items. And the men's clothes, we'll, we'll see how they go. All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All that stuff's, um, all that stuff's below. You know how to use YouTube. And then if you do subscribe, uh, go ahead and hit the bell. Um, I try to do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday. I'm doing what sold videos on Wednesdays. And sometimes, um, depending on how big my backlog gets, I'll throw an extra video in sometime. Um, there's really not a set schedule. It's kind of loose. But you'll get notified if you hit the bell. So if you are subscribed, do that. All right. Until next time, I've been Charles. I'll see you.